Um, colleagues, I just wanted to take a minute to um, just say a few things right now. Uh, first of all, for those who, and, and actually for the newspapers who are confused, I'm still a current state representative. Um, I do not uh, become a senator until I'm actually sworn in. So um, I appreciate being able to get through uh, most of this session uh, with you all that I started with. Um, I just want to tell you how grateful I am to have served with each of you. Um, some of you I know better than others. Uh, as you know, when committees we get to know each other, um, and we spend a lot of time together, especially if you're on health care. And um, <laughs> there's a lot of words in that committee, uh, and I know that I contribute. And the ones that I don't use, I carry on into rules with uh, Representative Holby, and I know he's appreciated all of my comments and questions. Um, <laughs> But this has been an extraordinary experience, and I have to tell you, I did not expect at all not to be finishing out this session and this term and um, staying in the house for quite some time, because I really love the house. Um, it's unpredictable. It's fun. Although I will say the Senate has kind of gone its own way uh, currently. Um, unexpected there, too. So, uh, but... Um, I, I like things, uh, it's just interesting. Every day I come into work, I learn new things, I, um, I grow. You know, you, as you get older, you stop making decisions. I think we just start taking the easy path because, you know, we've struggled and stuff. And I'm thankful for all of us that we are in a place that we are stretched every day. Um, and we have the opportunity to serve the people of Oregon. So thanks um, to each of you and what you have contributed to my life and to my character. Um, I hope I'm a better person. Not that that is always the end result here, but I know for me personally, uh, it has been a difficult five and a half months, and it's been an awesome five and a half months. Um, I understand that I have a bigger office and a full-size couch. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I think I will be hosting some Senate House mixers in the future. Um, you know, I, this is uh, a, a wonderful family to be a part of. Um, and earlier I was talking about my staff, and my second daughter showed up, so I just wanted to take a minute to um, introduce you uh, to Anna and Maggie, who have served with me um, and have been my biggest cheerleaders. Um, and uh, my son Michael, have you haven't seen? Um, he lives in Central Oregon, and uh, and he's unpredictable, so it's good that he's there. Um, <laughs> but um, anyhow, uh, just a moment to to the speaker. Uh, this has been a really interesting and awesome thing. I, I really have enjoyed getting to know you better um, and working with you. We obviously don't always agree, as most of uh, we all know how that goes, not just you, but <laughs> your people. Um, <laughs> but it has been, uh, it's been fun in so many ways. And I just want to take a minute to our caucus leader, um, Carl Wilson, who's been uh, just really one of the best people I've ever known. And serving on his leadership team has been a real privilege. And uh, thank you, Carl, for mentoring me and uh, having lots of patience and, um, and just being a, 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 a person of encouragement. And my last um, comment I would just, since he's not here, is uh, my husband, Jeff, who has been in and out, has been think he works really hard. And um, yesterday, when I went through the appointment process, at the county commissioners and he and my girls were there and, and some other friends and supporters and we went through that and then he um, had to get in, a, in his car and drive down to Medford because he had a, a meeting with um, Harry and David because he works in agriculture and um, cherries in particular and in sales. And so I didn't get a chance to catch up and last night he calls me and uh, Jeff is a very even keel, you know, holds his emotions in, just a, a great um, steadying force in our whole family's life. And uh, so we started talking, he asked me how the day went. 
And then all of a sudden, he just says, he goes, honey, I'm just so proud of you. And he started, he choked up. And he, and I'm sharing this, and he'd be super upset. It's kind of, you know, super personal. But I want you guys to know, um, I guess it's important, because we're all here with people behind us that support us. And uh, in our family, whenever, you know, dad starts to choke up, we all lose it because, you know, it doesn't happen once every, like, decade. Um, and uh, so I just want to thank him publicly for being such an incredible husband of almost 25 years and, um, and a support to me in my leadership in the state of Oregon. And I'm very grateful for the family that I have, and I'm very grateful for all of you. So thank you very much. Thank you, Representative.